When you start a small business, there are so many things that you have to worry about, one of which is how are you going to market yourself online and which social media platforms are you going to use? So perhaps you decided that Instagram would be a good fit to help you connect with your target market. When you get started on Instagram as a business, it's important that you have a strong visual brand. And so what I'm going to do is take a little break during this Canva Create-a-thon to do a little mini series on how to bring your Instagram account. We're gonna talk about custom Instagram highlights, then we'll talk about custom quote graphic templates, and finally we're gonna end with custom Instagram story templates for your brand. So if this is something that you would be interested in, I want you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that you are notified when these videos go up. And you can also join my VIP vault, which is my epic resource library. It's filled with cheat sheets, tutorials, checklists, and even some stock photos for free. All you need to do is go to LaShondaBrown.com or you can click on the link in my description. Without further ado, let's hop in. <laughs> Before you get started designing in Canva, the first thing I want you to do is to load in your brand colors. To really have a strong impact on Instagram, it's important that your content is consistent and it matches. So maybe you've utilized Canva's color features. You've chosen a color palette from the color palette generator. You've used the, the color wheel to decide your colors, or maybe you're using the website coolers instead. Whatever platform you're using to find your colors, what I want you to do is go ahead and get your hands on those color codes. When you do, what you need to do is to go into Canva and click on Brand Kit. Then you're going to scroll down under Brand Colors and you're going to add a new palette. So for me, I'm gonna say ESS. And then you need to add however many colors you have in the palette. For this one, we have five. So I just went ahead and clicked the plus sign and had five different color blocks. Then we're just gonna go ahead and head on over to where those colors are stored. We're going to copy them and paste them into the box here. And so this is a pretty quick process to load these in if you have these saved on your computer. When you finish loading in all your brand colors and you've got your entire color palette ready, what I want you to do is scroll up and upload some brand logos. I highly recommend having a full color version and an all white version of your logo. That's going to come in handy for Instagram graphics. When all of that is done, just go to the home page and we're going to search for Instagram story highlights. Now this is going to be a limited selection of options, but it's going to get you started. And you can go ahead and look at what they have available and then customize it from there. Personally, I feel like this style really does reflect the ESS brand. Their logo is in a circle. And so I'm going to utilize this. Now you can see they've got, let's see, six different highlight covers here. I only need five because there's only five colors in their color palette. So what I'm going to do is just delete one of those and then I'm going to change the background on all of these to match their brand. Now again, this comes down to personal preference and you can decide whatever you want to do. Some people do all one color. I personally like to utilize the branding. Now, if you have a color in your palette that is fairly light, like this uh, light gray, then what I'm going to do is to make that highlight a blue so that it matches the other icons and it's within the same color palette. So now that I've done that, I can look at the icons that are provided and see if they line up with what I think ESS would need. Otherwise, what I can do is search for them under elements. So one of the things that may come up is um, they do hiring, they have a job board. So if I think about what type of icon would represent a job, maybe a piece of paper. So we could say paper icon. And so here are a bunch of options. 
And so whatever you decide to use for your graphics, I would make sure that the icons are within the same style. So if you decide that you're going to use something like this, that's full color and it's a square, I wouldn't mix it with some of these other icons that are outlines. So that's the biggest thing that I would say is just make sure that it's visually consistent with the style. So I think there are a lot of icons that you can find that look similar to this, whether in an, um, an outline. And so I think that's really what I'm going to be looking for as I go through. So I'm going to pause this video and go ahead and find icons that I think would work for their Instagram highlights by searching under the elements tab. So I've completed four of the highlights and I wanted to bring you back in to show you a couple of tricks that I needed to do in order to make sure that everything turned out the way that I'd like it. The first thing is when you look at the icons that come loaded in, these are connected. So when you are looking through the elements and you're choosing an icon, more than likely you're not going to find one with a circle around it. So in that case, the first thing I would do is click circle. And the second one, which is free, that's just an outline. We're going to go ahead and click that. And what it's going to do is lay it on top of what is already there. So what we want to do is position it backwards and then delete it. And so what that does is it makes sure that the circle stays in the same place on all of your highlight graphics so that that stays consistent. So that's the first little thing that I found. The other thing is all the icons are not the same size. So as you search through here and you drop them in, what you want to do is utilize the positioning tools within Canva. So for partners, I think it makes sense to have a people icon. So we're going to look for that. And I think a group of people looks good. I'm going to look through my options and I think this outline goes well. Again, some of these other ones just don't seem to fit the style that I'm doing on the other pages. So we'll go ahead and click on this icon. This one is um, purchased for a dollar. Others are free. If you want to sort through these, just click free up here and it will sort through and show you which ones are available without paying. So we're going to go ahead and unclick that. I do happen to like the style of some of the paid ones. So we're going to go ahead and select this one. We're going to make sure that it is the ESS blue. Then we're going to reduce the size of it by dragging from the corner. And when I feel like it's a good size icon, what I want to do is position it in the center and in the middle. And that will keep it consistent with the other graphics that I've created. The other thing I did to keep track of which highlights I wanted to create is I named the pages. And so if you look at the top here, I just typed in what are the categories that I want to highlight in my Instagram stories. And so once I did that, I searched through what Canva had available to find icons that reflected those categories. So when you're done, what you want to do is get in the habit of naming your files because you can actually search the names of your Canva designs in the future. So the more and more you design, if you don't take the time to name your files, it's going to be harder to find what you need. So we're going to say ESS Instagram highlights. And so what we want to do is go ahead and click on download. We're going to download them as a PNG, all five pages. Now I use some premium images, so it's going to charge me the $4. In the event that you use all free ones, it wouldn't charge you. So we're gonna go ahead and pay and download this. Now it will prepare the design, which means it's going to create a zip folder with all of these highlights saved. So if I go here, show it in folder, it's all zipped up. So I need to extract them. And now I have all of my highlights. So at this point, you need to decide how you want to get this to your phone. I personally think that's the easiest way to do this. So in my case, what I'm probably going to do is highlight all of them, drag them into a Gmail and just email them to myself. If you have Google Drive or Dropbox on your phone, then you can utilize that as well. So now what we're going to do is pause the video, 
send the highlights to your email, Google Drive, Dropbox, whatever you'd like to use. And then we're going to head on over to Instagram on my phone. So once you get on Instagram on your phone, what you wanna do is save your highlight graphics to your camera roll. That is where you will upload your graphics from. Then head on over to Instagram, click in the top left-hand corner, and go ahead and type in a nice little message. I like to let people know that I'm essentially about to spam them with highlight updates. You can click in the top left-hand corner to change the background. And once you find a background that you like, just click in the bottom left and paste it to your story. Then you're gonna click that camera icon again, select multiple in the top right, and then you will select all of your highlight graphics. Otherwise, you're going to have to upload them one at a time. Once you have selected all your graphics, hit next, then you'll hit next again, and share to your story, then hit done. When you're done, all of those will be stitched into your story. And now it's time to go back to your story, find those graphics and highlight them. So in the top left-hand corner, you will click on your story. You'll see that highlight and click in the bottom right to start a new highlight. This is where you will select the names of your highlights. So you can name them whatever you'd like, but just realize after a certain amount of characters, your name can get cut off. So I like to keep these to short little pithy phrases to make sure you can read the entire thing. So you would just go one by one, highlight those story graphics, click new, name the highlight, and click the blue add button. So I'm gonna go through all of these, create those highlights, hit done, and then you can see them on Instagram. Now, after creating your graphics, if you decide, oh no, I wanna simplify the colors or change them slightly, go through the same process, create some new ones in Canva, send them to yourself, pin them to your highlights, and when you're done, it will adjust the way your highlights appear. Now, if you remove a highlight by clicking on it from the main screen, that is how you would remove it from the lineup. So now that we have finished designing the highlights and we have pinned those to Instagram, if I refresh on instagram.com slash extra solution staffing, you should see the brand new highlights. So I love that these highlights reflect the visual brand of ESS. It looks super professional and it's super consistent with their branding. So if you are looking for a way to brand your business on Instagram, I would get started with your Instagram highlights. Instagram loves when you use multiple features on the platform. So don't just post to the feed, consider using highlights as well to help you to get your brand name out there. If you paid attention, I did show a secret word for the Canva Create-a-thon. So if you are trying to find all 25 words to win a Squarespace website, make sure you write that word down and stay tuned for more videos. Until next time, ta-ta for now.